Hello everybody, this is Amagath 2004 We have made it to the second half of the Unfinished Business expansion for Tomb Raider 1, PC only. This is the section known as Unfinished Business, which is taking place immediately after the first game. We slid down this long ramp and made it right here. The enemies are still a bitch, and this is actually fairly long, so I'm going to try not to reach most of the item pickups and such, but I can't promise anything because I will need a lot of them. Um, a lot of enemies, so you always have to be ready for that. And all those items that I picked up from the first half are going to be very useful here. And there are a lot of items to be picked up, honestly, so... Yeah. When I played through it the first time... It was about an hour long of gameplay, so I'm hoping to cut that short to at least 30 minutes, hopefully. Can't promise anything, but I'm gonna try. There's a couple flying enemies that show- OH SHIT! No, Lara! What were you thinking? At least that's a quick way down, but... No! Not that way! Oh... I had my guns out, too. That's what the problem was. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Took care of both of those flying enemies, and... Picked up a couple... Shotgun shells that were on the ground. Oh. You got a friend over here. Probably gonna save here in a second. Just gonna take a quick look around, make sure that I picked up everything that I could. Hmm, I think that triggers an enemy. But I'm gonna go for it anyways. I don't remember if it was this one or something else. Oh, I guess this one did it. Take him out with the shotgun. I'll wait for him to get a little bit closer. So I don't waste too much ammo. There. Ooh. Hello, trap. <sighs> Alright, I can't climb up that. Too steep. Okay, I'll go ahead and save here. Oops. I'm just really hoping that the next part of the game isn't gonna have, you know, too many enemies, because all these item pickups that I'm missing are probably gonna hurt me in the long run. But one thing is for sure, I'm not gonna forget these. There's a couple of them. Probably shouldn't jump backwards just in case I don't make it. Hmm. 
Ooh, holy crap. I didn't think it would take out that much health. There are a couple items I want to pick up around here. But I know... Ooh, that's triggered shit. I might as well go for it. Always running away. Crap. I didn't know that one triggered someone also. Come on. But luckily that one is actually kind of stuck in that one spot. So I just gotta stay here for a minute. Okay. The other one I keep seeing off in the distance off over where I'm facing. Oh! I didn't think that one triggered yet. Oh! No, 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 no. Almost out of boozy ammo. It's not too good. I should probably try to conserve it now. But in my first playthrough, I thought that picking up two of these items would actually trigger one of the enemies. I didn't know that walking close to it did it. Because when I walked close to it before, it never came to attack me. <sighs> okay, so now we have one opening here. And I think... Oh, maybe not. I guess I was thinking of a different section. Weird. Oh, that one opens after some time, I think. Or after doing something specific. Stepping here triggers an enemy, I think. Or at least it did before. Apparently not, no. Not that I'm complaining, but that's actually... a hell of a lot better. It's a good way to dodge all this stuff. I don't want to get too close to that. Because that will trigger an enemy. I don't know. Ow! Fuck. And then that happens. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Took care of all of those dudes. Just gotta check this, make sure. Okay, everything's good. We'll just jump. Now, as I was saying, there is a trigger for the enemies opposite of that window. And when I played through it, it was when I stepped on that square right in front of me. So I'm going to try not to do that this time. Hopefully they still won't trigger. Or even better yet, they won't trigger at all later in the future. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh. Shit, that was the entrance. So I went a completely pointless direction. Go over here. Try and stay away from that mess. Oh, 
Actually, that's where I'm supposed to be going. Okay. Oh. Oh! He never came after me down here before. Uh oh, uh oh. Issue! Start menu came up. It's only certain combinations. I still don't know what the combinations are. Just hit random crap and it happens. It's not good. Okay, I remember this. Each of them do have items behind them. And I think if you pick up all of them, or just one of them, the one that you picked up, that one will trigger. So I'm hoping to not do that. I also don't remember the correct switches. Um, okay, we did something, and that was the one that we wanted to open. Please don't come to life. We, we cool? This is where you would go to take care of those two. Oh! Those two. Okay. I can't reach you from here, I think. Oh, holy crap! Apparently that one might be able to. Come on. I'm trying to get through this quick. You're not helping. Where's your friend? Here's a good way to get him out. I hear him. I'll only pick up the useful items. Because there are quite a bit of uh, magnum ammo, which I still don't have. Or is it Deagle? I still don't know. I don't remember if it's magnum or Deagle. Oops, that was my bad. Those dudes still aren't alive. Just gonna run along and hope they don't come after me. Let's move back a step. There we go. 
go ahead and save here. So far we've made some pretty decent progress. Oh. Hey guy. Oh, come on. The first time I went through this, he actually got stuck in this pattern also. bit of a slow kill, but it's worth it. Especially with all this lava shit around. And the first time I went through this, I thought that this was going to be a trap, too. Jump from here. But it's all good. I like when they shoot needles. It's better than explosive balls. Oops. Sounds like a some sort of bad condition, some STD or something. Yet at the same time, it also sounds kind of sexual. Explosive balls. That was a glitched enemy. There should be two of them. Kind of glitched into the wall. First time I played it, after I killed them, they just kind of disappeared. They never exploded. They never did anything. They just disappeared. There is one spot in the water that I will actually try to go for. It's... Let's see, two shotgun shells. And I think a health pack, including a magnum or a deagle or whatever the hell it is. It's probably deagle.
Ooh. Still feeling kind of tired. Okay, now we gotta try to remember what I have to do next. If I remember right, there is a block with the switch. Yep. Couple doors with enemies behind it and nothing else. It's a trap. Okay, I remember that door. Don't remember what this does. Let's find out. Son of a bitch! I was hoping to not do that. That should open up the door up above. Yes. It has to go back to the room with the pyramid. But there is one more door that we actually do have to open. Oh! Jesus! Run! Swim! Whatever! Something. Just Jesus Christ. Oh, that was mean. Oh, and there's another switch. I think I might be fucked. Oh. I gotta make it to that block. No! Crap. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I pulled the switch down in the water. And let's see, that was the bad one. <sighs> Crap. Not really hoping. Or I am hoping, but. Yeah, whatever. Awesome. Okay, fuck this area. He was before. Because before, all he would do is just, uh... Shoot me with the explosive balls. There you go. It's one thing about underwater switches that are right next to each other. They kind of don't like to be. And Lara gets confused. She's like, which one should I use? They're both the same. Oh, that's useless. Oh crap, I should probably go back. Get 
get some air before continuing on. I don't remember if there's a switch in here or not. I think there might be, but it might just be only for a secret. I hope not. Because then I'd feel like I wasted time. Lots of spikes. I think... Yeah, the door up there is the one that we actually have to open. Which is back in that main room with the water. However, don't really remember how to get that open. Hoping this will be it, but I think this is actually for a secret only. I was holding the run button and so she could run and jump, but that apparently that shit's too confusing. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I was kind of right about that switch on the right. That only leads to a secret, so that was kind of pointless. So now I'm going to try this one. If I can actually get it. All that was kind of useless, too. So the question is, where do I go? I'm kind of thinking there might be a switch back where we were. I'm really hoping that there wasn't, but at this rate, I really do think that there was. So now I'm going to have to try to find my way back. Awesome. Fucking love it. Maybe not. Hey, look at that. It's a switch. And open. Good. Oh. Couldn't really tell. I'm definitely going for that. Ha ha ha. Perfect. Kind of remember this part. Okay, this jump was kind of a bitch. Okay, good. Where we need to go is up there. There are some items over there, but I'm not gonna... I'm not going to bother, I think.
Oh, crap. That's what happens when you jump too soon. Now this part actually took me like 10 minutes to figure out. I knew I was in the right area, I just couldn't figure out where to go. And it's actually really hard to see, but there's an opening right there. 10 whole fucking minutes, just back and forth, dying quite a few times by catching myself on fire. Before I found this. Come on, buddy. Oh, there's two. Oh, shit. I'm kind of wondering if they are the same two enemies from before, when I was in that building up above. And maybe it was a glitch that they came out too early or something. <sighs> okay, final jump. If you remember that area inside of the pyramid that we were in before, there was a section that I couldn't actually get into. And the only way by jumping in there. And it is a bitch. It took quite a few tries. I'm hoping I'll get it in just one shot. Ow! I overcorrected. And there really is, like, no chance of getting it right. Like, you have to be dead on. Because there were a few times where I got... I made it in, but I got caught on one of the edges or corners going down. That killed me. I think I go through here. Yeah. Yay! Part one done. And look, I beat my time. Totally called it. So anyways, that was the end of part three. And next we're on to part four. So I'll see you back here in a few.